Well, it looks like on May 14th, 2015, just a few days from now, we're going to have a near miss on a, well, it should be a near miss. It ain't nothing we can do about it. It should be a near miss on a very, very big asteroid. You see, one, uh, some minute changes in trajectory, and uh, we can have a major problem, but, you know, nothing nobody can do about it. Actually, this is reality. Uh, this was actually on a major news story. Um, the thing is, though, it says gigantic missile thought to measure almost a mile across will brush closer than previous monsters, which have sparked global panic. You know, so we got, uh, so they got it's the, you know, 1999 FN53, which is uh, an eighth the size of Mount Everest, will skim the Earth in three days. That's on May 14, 2015. A uh, collision would be nothing short of catastrophic, triggering mass destruction, earthquakes, and global extinction. I'll show you where I got this from, so because I just put it in PDF so you can actually read it better, but just give you a couple highlights off of the article. And I'm going to comment further on it because, you know, a lot of times uh, people have been, you know, harping on this stuff. Harping. Yeah, pun on words. Anyway, you know, that something could possibly happen. I guess something could happen, but nothing you could do about it. The monster is more than ten times bigger than the meteorites currently visible on the NASA's near-Earth object radar. So, it's double the size of the gargantuan um, 2014 YB35, which had astronomers around the world watching the skies in March. <laughs> it's like, you watch it, and it's like, what do you do about it, man? I don't know. Why, why even watch it, right? So, I'm going to tell you a couple more things about this after we get through this here part. But experts warn a collision could trigger an explosion similar to millions of megatons of TNT, which would be capable of killing 1.5 billion people. If it hits the um, the water, it'll bring up, I don't know, it'll knock out the ozone, ozone layer. It'll cause a tsunami, I don't know, whatever, all kinds of junk. So, you know, actually, you know, I referenced this on one of the Illuminati playing cards. And actually, if that's a real Illuminati playing card... You know, it's one thing I can figure, you know, just a little common sense. This is not going to be a man-made event, you know. Hey, man, <laughs> it's like, but I'm going to bring you up, bring you up to date on a couple other things. Now, it says, although it's several million miles away, astronomers feel fear a slight deviation from its orbit will put it a headline collision course with the planet. Yeah, mm -mm 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 -mm. so, you know, hey, no matter what, they don't really have everything, like, all figured out. So, you know, maybe the doom and gloomers will get get it right one of these days, you know. Let that, I think they'll be able to predict when it's going to happen. Could happen thousands of years from now, or never, well, it's going to happen someday, because it has happened before, but it could be ridiculously so far off in the future that, you know, we might even have the technology 50 years from now that it could, you know, just, you know, take care of it. But here's an interesting chart. This is actually near-Earth asteroid discoveries. Now, this is why, actually, some of this stuff is cause for concern, and maybe it should head for the hills, because, um, <laughs> well, let me put it this way. There's a reality to this stuff, too, besides the doom and gloomers that exaggerate it, but there is a reality to it. There is actually, you know, a major f factual points to this. See, the solar system we live in is actually going through parts of the galaxy that have more asteroids, and, you know, it's showing up on these charts. Uh, it's, this chart is a little fuzzy, but it goes up to 2011, and it goes all the way back to 1995. And you see, back in 1995, near-Earth asteroid discoveries were very nil. And now, in the last few years, there's a hell of a lot more of them. That's because we're going through a section of the uh, galaxy, or solar system is going through a section of a galaxy that has a lot more asteroids. So the, the event, the possibility of a collision with Earth is... Not nearly as remote as it was just 20 years ago. And it's going to get more and more likely. But nobody knows when, you know. So, I don't know. What I could tell you, though, is possibly you might want to head to the hills. Uh, start making some moonshine. If anything, you can get drunk off this stuff. You could have yourself a moonshine party. You'll actually have... I think moonshine will be more important as and function better as money in a post apocalyptic collapse of society like you know like you had you know 
like, I don't know, you know, the people talk about, what do you do if society collapses? What do you do? Yeah, yeah cigarettes, to toilet paper, but, you know, moonshine probably be more worth more than anything. I can tell you that right now. And, you know, it's made from nature, so you can make as much of it as you want. And, uh, you know, there's not going to be any feds around there at the time because the feds will be all gone, you know, because the asteroid would have wiped them out. And you can run your rat rod on them. There'll be plenty of rat rods around because you can make them out of any of the scrap cars we got and we can run them off of moonshine. So, and also, there's going to be a lot of asteroid parties and after party asteroid hits because, um, you know, actually, this is actually not out of the realm of complete impossibility, whatever you want to call it. It's not really like, it's not. Let me put it this way, like that chart, and I think explained all of it, because um, we're going into an area now of the galaxy, not that, you know, it's something that you could really notice, like, like if you look up in the sky or something, but it is known that we're going through a part of the galaxy, our solar system is careening through or floating through or whatever, how you describe that, an area of the galaxy with a lot more asteroids, so in the last 20 years, you saw the, the number of uh, asteroid near-miss objects, uh, around Earth has vastly increased exponentially, right, as shown in this chart. So, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You know, but, you know, nobody knows when. Now, let's just hope this is a miss. Uh, it should be a miss. Um, you know, I'm, well, how would I know? I mean, nobody knows. Even the best scientists don't know because they say it's going to be a near miss, but a slight deviation in course and it could be a lot super a super close miss that could cause problems or even a hit so who the hell knows but you know i'm not gonna worry about it there's nothing i can do about it but you know the more you think about these things uh, it kind of gives you a little more impetus for prepping and it also gives you a little more interest impetus to get into the hobby of moonshining because actually you know i talk about you know silver and i talk about food and i talk about you know whatever you want to have later for um you know an emergency I'll tell you one thing that would actually be money in a in a society that collapsed. It would be moonshine. <laughs> God, and you know it would be. You know it would be because it's medicinal purposes. It's getting drunk purposes. It's run your car purposes. Uh, you can use it as fuel to actually start the fire if you want to. You know, use a little as like lighter fluid or whatever to get the wood burning or whatever. And fire is very important for cooking. It could be for used for heat. You know, everything under under there is or light. Maybe even in some kind of lamps or something. They would, the wick is soaked in paraffin or something, whatever, right? So, you know, what can I tell you, man? <laughs> what can I tell you? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the fear mongers, you know, I always put it to this way. You know, this has always been my rationale. The uh, alternative media and a lot of the fear mongers definitely do have a, a grain of truth to a lot of what they're saying. They go overboard with what they're saying. But they definitely have a grain of truth to a lot of what they're saying. And, you know, this stuff, you know, I know there's been a lot of predictions out there about there's going to be a meteor strike in September 2015. I don't think it's going to be then because that's what everybody's predicting it. But it's not like out of the realm of reality where this is getting more likely because of where we're heading to in a, in a vast galaxy of, you know, in space, the solar system's actually going through a area like I showed before again uh, the, you know the near earth asteroid discoveries and you know it only takes one it only takes one to really create a problem so let's hope it's a small one and you know where the best place to be survivable is as far away from the hit <laughs> where would that be I have no idea because you know I would imagine though if, if there is a you know say for instance you knew for a fact there was going to be an asteroid hitting the earth um it'd be best to be away from the coast because the most likely place it would hit the earth is um, on the, you know, in the water, which would cause a tsunami, but it wouldn't cause a tsunami everywhere in the world, you know? So, but, you know, I always, always looked at a lot of those Hollywood movies that are hinting about meteor and asteroids and stuff, and I'm thinking, eh, I don't know. They probably know something. It's probably like, it's probably, it probably is a lot more likely that we're going to get nailed by this crap. I don't know. It could be 10 years from now, though. But 10 years ain't even a long time, man. <laughs> 10 years ain't even a long time. But in the meantime, 
you can get your still going, man. It's not too hard to make them. So anyway, but you got to get a permit, I think, for that or something like that. If you do that, they're not hard to make. You, I think you, I think you just get a permit or something like that, and from the the, the alcohol, tobacco, and the firearms bureau or something or whatever the hell it is, and you 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 can make it for. I think you can make. I think you're allowed to make. That stuff for yourself. I don't know. I don't know what the legality is, but you can always find out. Actually, it's not that difficult. A lot of people don't get into it because it's a lot of work. But, boy, I tell you one thing. If there's ever a catastrophic problem on Earth, having a, an ability to make lots of moonshine would probably make you one of the rich, rich... You'd be the moonshine baron instead of the oil baron. You'd be the moonshine baron. But, yeah, this is kind of like... Uh, I'm not saying it's kind of like it is reality because, uh, you know, it's... It's not a joke, I guess, but, um, you know, Aries says, you know, it only takes one asteroid to completely destroy life, not just humanity, but all species. Well, I hope that don't happen. <laughs> hope none of it happens, to tell you the truth, but it's not like it's out of the realm of possibility, and we got a near miss coming up in the next few days, so, I don't know. Hide under the bed. I don't know what to gotta tell you, man. I mean, I don't know what the hell to tell you, man. But it's reality. We do have a, few, a near miss coming up in the next few days. I'm I'm labeling it a near miss because that's what I hope it is. I hope it doesn't hit us. But anyway, um, you know, it's that's not going to be the only one. There's going to be more. And it goes to tell you the major media doesn't tell you too much about this stuff, do they? Right? Do they tell you that much about this stuff? No. You know, they don't tell you much about it, do they? I know the, the alternative media tells you it's going to happen every week, you know, but... You know, there's a happy medium between these two things. I mean, it is reality. And I guess tell you, it tells you, like, say, for instance, we had an asteroid hit the Earth and it destroyed, like, uh, the electricity or something or did this and did that. Eh, it's, it's more reason to prep. But there's always the fun way to prep. The fun way is to get rat rods and moonshine and mud wrestling and uh, lots of drinking. Anyway, there you go. The doomsdayers, man. The doomsday party for the asteroid, right? Celebrate. 